John chapter 3, verse 20, Jesus concludes with time with Nicodemus, and he's talking about light and darkness and how people love darkness. And in fact, everyone who's loving darkness doesn't want to come into the light because the light exposes the deeds of darkness. All of this in the context of a conversation in which Jesus is inviting Nicodemus to step out of the darkness and the illusion that the Pharisees create about self-righteous religion and step into the light, Nicodemus. And what about you? Darkness and light, we all battle and have that battle inside of us and around us. What's your response? Do you want to come out of darkness and step into the light? When I lived in Dallas, Texas, I still remember being woken up in the middle of the night hearing a noise in my garbage can and I thought it was a big animal in there to be honest and as I went over and checked and took a look around, uh, well, it was just a huge cockroach and it made a lot of noise and it wasn't short after that because I had cockroaches in our dorm that I woke up in the middle of the night again, saw a big dark object on my phone, just couldn't tell what it was and went over and touched it and it was this slithering, slimy, massive cockroach nasty feel. I turned on the light and the cockroach, you know, scurried into the darkness and it didn't want to come out into the light. And it just reminds me how once you're in darkness, it's so easy to stay in darkness and try to hide and keep it secret and just act like that's normal. And Jesus shines light in the room and he says, come out of the darkness into the light. Darkness hates light, but light overpowers darkness. Nicodemus had to make a choice. And we all make a choice every day. By his grace, by the daily grace of Jesus, we step out of the darkness with his forgiveness and enjoy walking in the light with him.